Hey everybody, the Bong is back. Welcome to part 46 of Let's Play Dark Cloud, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, off screen I have been like uh, trading my weapons and getting gems for them to make sure that they get built up faster. It is very expensive, but as we go through the dungeons and do our training, we get some money back anyway. Alright, let's go back to the Gallery of Time. I feel like we have so much more to do. Let's do this. But I will admit, if we're forced to use Osman later on, we're probably going to be screwed. Oh jeez, we're leaping well ahead. 102 years ago. That's a lot of years. Alright, let's go. Going that far back in time. Hearts! Okay, now we're just going to be taking on a lot of cards. And you had what I was looking for right away. Good. Four Atla on this floor, I believe. And we'll deal with our rash dash over here. So we dashed your rash. <laughs> Ow! Jeez. 36 damage right there. Okay, good. At least we're able to get another premium chicken to make up for the one we might have to use later if I keep getting hit like this. Then again, there is like two healing platforms over there. Practically right close to each other. Weird how they would do that, but who am I to complain? I'll take what I can get. Ah, we got another crown. We still haven't even worked with the one we got before. Ha! Kill that mimic in one shot. Okay, we'll need Ruby for this. Do I still have wind attached to her? Let's find out. Oh, I did! Prior to this. Alright. Maybe we should use her for a little bit longer. Put her on holy because that's our strongest attribute. She does need to be trained a little bit. Let's do this. Alright, good. It's good to give my main character a bit of a break. Even though we're going to have to bring him back out soon enough. Alright, let's break this heart. Worse than Taylor Swift ever could. But maybe she's just doing those guys a favor by dumping them. Oh well. Let's continue on here. Figure that would be a mimic. Well, thanks for the money. It's not a lot. I mean, it's 20 Gilda. But... It's better than zero. So I'll take it. Huh. Are you a wizard? Apparently that was. Okay. We'll go left then. There's no Atla, but there are some enemies to fight. And there's a chest. Could still be a mimic, but who knows. I've been wrong before. We're powerful enough to destroy these enemies in one hit. Just imagine if we get the Chronicle Sword. What was that? Did he just poke his butt at me? Which is really the back of the card? Weird. Very insulting. I don't appreciate that. So I guess it's time for us to heal up. Because that's how I respond to being insulted. I heal myself. <laughs> That's a legitimate response to a lot of things. As repair powder, good. I'll take out this heart. Oh, jeez. Apparently that gas hurts you quite a lot. And I can't raise my defense any higher. So whatever damage I take, <laughs> that's the damage I'm gonna have to live with. Ugh, gooey peach. It sucks. Probably as bad as the Princess Peach. Huh, there's a sword. I have one too! It's probably stronger than the one I picked up. Father. I have a father too! Probably old. Older than me, well that's... That's obviously gonna make sense. You can't really have a father that's younger than you, unless you have a time machine. Which we don't.
All right, let's go further back in time here. How far? I have no idea. We're gonna find out. Oh, you get thirsty quicker. Oh dear. Diamond! Okay, we're running to a lot of cards. Good thing I got plenty of water. So I'll likely be needing it. Like you wouldn't believe. Oh, broken sword! Good thing I don't have one of those. Had one at some point, and that was very early in the project. I don't want to relive that again. Those were bad times. But at the end of the day, it did make me a bit more diligent. Oops. Yeah, you need to die now. Good, that was the enemy that had the clock hands. Alright, gotta get the Atla and get out of here quickly. The other chests be damned. Same with the other enemies. We'll go this way. Yeah, we still don't have our magical crystal yet. We'll get that eventually. A horse rider. <laughs> the sequel to Knight Rider. Which is ironically a prequel. Thank you for dying. And not depleting my weapon energy or weapon HP any further. I highly appreciate that. Okay, the thirst is real. I don't I don't think there's any uh healing platforms here. So I better drink up. Lola, it's okay. Stop whining. You'll be back. You just need to do the laundry. You're so needy, dog. Aren't you a needy dog? You are a needy dog, Lola. You're very needy. Also, I better repair this, otherwise I'll forget and I'll lose this Atlamelia sword. Granted, I was training my weapons, and I actually did have the Atlamelia sword break, so I reloaded my save file. Good thing I saved before I went back to the uh, Moon Sea. Oh, you're not dead yet? Weird, but okay. I think there's still an Atla over there to the northeast. Yeah, let's go around the long way, Selectum Gaga. There, clear that up. Beautiful. As I know, I'm still primarily focusing on one character, but I do my training off screen. It's easier that way. Better for the let's play to put your best foot forward so you're not slower as opposed to taking up too much time. So, I figured I'd save the northeast for last because that's where our exit was anyway. Then we have to go to the other side of the arena many times. Living armor ain't so living anymore. You need to die now because you hop around like an idiot. Menace of the West. Huh. That's Will Smith in the Wild West movie. And Bel Air is in the West. He doesn't act no menacing in that, though. But, oh well. It is what it is. Jeez, not even ten minutes have we gone through like two floors. That's a really good pace. But I guess it's easy when you don't have a Georama to deal with. 122 years ago. Oh dear. The thirst is dangerously real. Alright, let's look around. Oh, there's a fountain here. But it's only there for decoration, though. Okay, we're still running into dark flowers here. That's a spade. There's a new enemy. Why isn't it holding a shovel? It would have been more fitting to hold a shovel, not a sword. But, fine. I'll live with it. Okay, what do I have on Osman anyway? Um, i rather train the snail. So, I'm building up the jackal to be a sin sphere. No, I did not mean to select that. I just want to 
pound this Rash Dasher to smithereens. So I did put a Sin Spear on it just to make it a bit stronger. Oops. I don't know how you managed to block all that. Maybe that is a shovel and I'm just seeing things differently. Thank you. Stupid card. Yeah, I'll keep using him for a little bit. Oh, now I gotta switch out. Yep, we'll give Osman a little bit more airtime. Because he really need it. The deal. That would sound like an NBC uh, game show. You know, try to rip off Deal or No Deal. Sounding Maui Handel. <laughs> These spades suck, is it? Whoa, okay. That dasher went out of nowhere. Camera's getting a bit jank. <laughs> yeah, take out that evil bat. Well, take out the enemies that don't block. It'll be a lot easier on you to do it that way. Oh, and you got the clock hands. All right. Um, let's see. We'll give you some basic endurance plus three just to keep that gun alive a lot longer. Probably not gonna give you a lot else, so maybe a holy and a thunder. We'll just give him like the basic stuff, and when we're really training our weapons that we want to build up, we'll use gems. It'll be better that way. Stop blocking! You're being an ass! Nobody likes an ass. Well, sometimes I like a nice ass, but that's a different context here. Let's, let's, let's keep it real now. The one thing I don't like about Osmond is that sound effect. Especially when it fires a machine gun. In certain circumstances, you can actually hear it even though you're paused. And it gets very grating. Up oh, there's our map. And it looks like there's a healing platform right there. That makes me a very happy man. Lots of enemies to fight. Oh, one of them's a spade. Go after the dark flower first. Oh, these guys really piss me off. So I'm just gonna get approach them, wait for them to attack me, and then shoot them. Fill them full of bullets. We'll do that. Oh, endurance plus one. Okay. And there we go. What is this at, La? Castle. Good. Good, good, good. I'll top you up a little bit. Let's give Ungaga some time now. Try to mix it up a little bit. Because that's what's been lacking these previous episodes, mainly relying on my main character. Can you blame him? Or blame me? Because he's that good. Yeah, just crown his ass. Oh, the Terra Sword is ready. Okay, we got a Sin Spear on you already. So what are you looking for? You need a little bit of everything. But I say once the Sin Spear is absorbed, you may not need so much. Let's see what we got here. He did need Holy, right? Let me double check. What elements was it? Thunder and Holy. Stone, Mimic, Plant, Mage, and Dino. Okay. That'll make sense a little bit. What about the sapphire? You don't need wind. You don't you don't need the sapphire, period. You might need this. Not for the ice, but for taking out stone and mimic. So we'll upgrade with those. Okay, so you still need attack, magic power, thunder and holy. Now you just need mage and dino. Okay, not bad. You're getting there, Ungaga. I like that. Keep making progress. 
And you'll be a mainstay for, like, the Demon Shaft, for sure. Well, actually, everybody should be, all things considered. Because we're gonna be using them. Now, let's just press on, oh my god, why are we getting gooey peaches here more prominently? Thank you, extra money is not bad. Now we need to switch. You know, we can probably do one more floor after this. Sophia! Got her for like the third time. She must be very old to be spread out through so many years, and yet she's still there. Or maybe he's just reminiscing of Sophia. You know, probably years after she's dead. Not saying she could be dead, maybe she actually did live forever. We don't know. That's why we gotta piece those memories together, and find out. We just need the chance to do so! Which this game has not been giving us. So, let's keep going. Hundred and forty years ago, damn, son. That's a lot of years. Oh, the max weapon HP went down. That's not good when you got a machine gun. Early magical crystal is good. But man, everything is so spread out. This is gonna be repair powders. Which I'll probably be needing after this mimic's dead. Actually, I'll be needing it before the mimic is dead. That sucks. Wow, that was a pain in the ass. Getting another Drans Feather is amazing. Good thing I was Osmond, because I need to switch. Weirdly enough, the living armor doesn't block. It's got a shield! I consider that a wasted opportunity. Okay, we found where our exit is. Let's just put the hands in there right now. But we're not going to activate it yet. We still got some Atla to find, and... Looks like we still need a... The pitch dark key. Alright, let's look for it the other way. Oh, it broke, but good thing we did get one. Okay, I got three in total. Not bad. So we're not going to be doing a lot of damage to enemies, but once he gets stronger, we will. Joker! Okay, I guess we're bound to find a Joker anyway, so maybe we'll get a deal with the devil. Oh, wrong game. That's for the 930 upload. <laughs> See? You can still hear a demon when he's not firing. I hate when that happens. Because it just sounds so annoying. Ooh. Finally found a big chest. Okay, if it's my weapon, what do I want to discard that's not that great? Probably the crystal knife, or Chris knife. And we got a buster sword. That's no better. I really need to start making more synth spears out of Bonga swords. Because he's full of them! But well, where's the time? Besides, I'd rather wait until we, like, uh, unlock some rooms that have, like, a ton of action point, or absorption point potential. Otherwise, it'll take too slow. There. You're dead. Oh, there's one more enemy right here. Okay, living armors do take a nice bit to kill. I think you actually do more damage if you're closer to an enemy. But I think the, the same can be said for like all range characters. You think from up close that Osman have a much easier chance of hitting mimics, but it still seems a little bit hit and miss. There's our pitch dark key, so we can actually go that way. Okay, I feel like we made a ton of progress in this dungeon. 
Then again, we have no miracle chest that'll bog us down, so we're not so obligated to finish going through the dungeon around 20 minutes. Spend another 10 minutes looking for for our Georama parts, our miracle chest, etc., etc. Taking that off will make things a lot better for us. Not so good for this Joker, though. It attacks us with some kind of sickle. It's like a handheld scythe. Or maybe it's like an axe. There, you're dead. <laughs> I was watching that weapon HP very closely. Good thing I was. So I really hate to lose the jackal. Remember, I'm gonna attach it to my snail eventually. Very weird sentence, I know, but... Like, I made a pigeon rat! Huh. It's like that classic clip from The Simpsons. One of the Halloween specials. Yeah, let's use it right now. Better be safe than sorry. Oh, I gotta switch again, really? Fine. I'll play as myself for a little bit longer. Black robed man! That's probably the same one that promised like this dark power. Usually black robed men are not exactly friendly. That's always the case. Like, why couldn't it be like a blue robed one? It's always the ones in black that cause the most trouble. Maybe they didn't want to be accused of, like, uh, stirring the pots. Maybe they should have wore, like, a different color wardrobe. Apparently that makes all the difference. It's like if he wore a robe in white, all of a sudden he's not a douche? Is that how it goes back in those times? Okay, fine. Ah, there's our fort. Thank God we're not actually physically putting these together. It looks like it would be a lot. There we go. Let's check out these chests. Potato cake. Uh, I'm pretty sure the other one's a map. So I'm not even going to bother to open it. Like, that's literally the only chest that's left. We still don't even have a map. We filled our map, but there you go. We don't need to unlock the chest to get it. Because we already have it. I think that's going to be enough for this episode for, like, going through the dungeon. I felt that was a very nice haul. Like, we just did a hell of a lot. How many pieces of Atla do we have, anyway? Hi. Oh, okay. He doesn't say anything different. Eh, whatever. I got like 45,000 Gilda. So, let me sell some of this crap that I won't be needing. Do I really need that much premium chicken? Well, let's focus on what we don't need at all. And then we can take it from there. Oh yeah, I got lots of crap. That's crap too. So is that. I'll get rid of that too. And that's pretty much good enough. So I'll probably use the rest of this money for attachments, or well, gems if need be, that I can build up my other weapons with. And we'll take it from there. So, I got like a 25 out of 120 parts. Hmm. Arts in edit mode slash dungeon. So you can actually assemble them in the dungeon? Okay, that's weird. I don't think that's how it works, but maybe it do. Okay, so we got a lot of these. Alright, so I'll stop the video right here, and in the next parts, we'll keep going through the dungeon and see if we can put them in, in the dungeon. Goodbye, everyone.